Hi guys, um, welcome to our YouTube channel. So today we're going to take you through the tutorial of Inkscribe, right? Inkscribe is one of the best softwares in that it makes your transcribing journey easier. And if you have the free version, you're going to have a countdown of 5 seconds, then you have access to the software. Now when you open, this is what your software looks like. You have these three sections on your right, and you have this huge section on your left. Now the first thing you need to do is drag your audio to the software, right? So you have to make sure you're dragging it to the correct section. Because if I drag it to the place where I'm supposed to type, nothing happens. You have to drag it to this section where I'm running my, my mouse, right? So if I drag it... Number eight. Here's the thing I wanted to tell you for a long time. Your audio starts playing automatically. Okay? Alright. Now the first thing we're going to look at is snippets. Now snippets is a shortcut to speaker labeling. You see how in transcription you're going to have a number of repetitive speakers. Let's say for example you have vowel and sum. You have to keep writing every time they alternate. Vowel, sum, vowel, sum. But the best thing about this software is that you can customize so that when you press a particular key, it types the name vowel for you. So you have to go to add, then, sorry, you have to go to add, type out the name that pops up, then define trigger key. When you press trigger key, this is the key that when you press, it's going to type that name for you. So I highly advise people to use the F function keys because you tend to rarely use them when you're transcribing. I advise you use keys that you most probably won't use when you're transcribing. So in my case, I can't use F function keys because as you can see, they're literally doing functions for the laptop. So I'm going to use examples of numbers, right? So I'll press 1. So this means every time I press 1, it's going to type the name val. We'll come back to add. And then we add sum, right? Let's define our trigger key as 2. That means every time I press 2, it's going to type out the name sum. Then I click on done. So if I come here and press 1, it does val. Then I type hey, um... Hey, then I can't press 2, sum, hi. I press 1, val, press 2, sum. So you see it makes your work easier. Rather than you having to type the names over and over again, you can literally customize them. The other thing is that you can use them for speaker labeling, um, time stamping a change of speaker. So for example, here I'll come and write val. Because you know when you're time stamping a change of speaker, you're supposed to pause your audio, immediately your speaker starts talking, and write the time that person started talking. So I'll press 3. Basically, I mean, every time I press 3, I want it to do speaker labeling, a change of speaker, for the vowel, right? Then I come and I do sum. Um, let's write sum. Sum. Space. And then 4. So every time I press 4, I want it to do the speaker labeling for sum. Then I click on done. So as you can see here, this is 4 seconds, right? So if I press 3, it has done the time Val started talking, which was on the 4th second, right? Let's push our audio. This is 1 minute 32 seconds. If I press 4, it has done the speaker labeling for sum at 1 minute 32 seconds. And then the best thing about this software is, if you are not sure of a particular time, if I press 4, it's going to jump back to the 4th second. If I press 1 minute 32 seconds, it's going to move to that particular section. So if you have an inaudible or an unintelligible and you have the time written down there, it can automatically change. You don't have to struggle trying to push your audio back to that particular second. The software does that for you. The other thing is shortcuts, right? When you come and click on shortcuts, this is, these are the keys that you can use to put the functions that you need, right? So let's say I want my audio to play every time I press 5 right okay and i want my audio to stop every time i press six define trigger key six okay then done the best thing is that on your right you can always see what you have set so if you forget which key you are you had defined as a trigger key for a particular function you can always see it on your right so here if i press five you're going to notice my audio is going to play five Consider how, how the rituals, rituals are, are different, different from place to place. If I press it, it automatically stops. So that makes it easier in that you don't have to keep on coming back to play so that you can come, listen to what, pause, come back, type, play, pause, play, pause. No, you basically set your shortcuts and then they can work to your convenience. 
and you have a series of commands that you can use you have stop you have pause you have skip back when you're transcribing you're going to most probably you're not going to be able to hear everything so instead of struggling to rewind you can use skip back skip back you can set it to whatever seconds you want your audio to skip back and then you can re-listen to that section that you missed and then you can type out that option right so you have skip back you have insert current time right so this is inserting timestamps for example let's press 8 it basically means every time i press 8 i want it to do the time stamping for me because my audio right now is at 1 minute 37 seconds let's push it this is now at 3 minutes 42 seconds I press 8, it does the time stamping for me as well. So as you can see, the best thing about this software is that you can use so many shortcuts that are going to help make your work easier. On the left as well, where my mouse is, you can control the speed of your audio, right? So for example, it's extremely fast, right? Let's lower it to 0. 0.6. Right? Some tubes and inset in the fixture and then a great top. Me, she stared at one of these lights so intently. For you can see you can customize it to whatever speed you feel comfortable with you, right? You can increase the sound of your headphones to the right or to the left you can increase the volume of the software itself as you can see my volume of the laptop is at 100 but i've now increased the volume so long so fast and now it's playing from my left speaker too. and now it's on my right speaker but if i put it in the between the tubes are placed they are playing for both my speakers and it is louder than it was screen. and i, I mean, can lower the volume i saw it for the first i can lower the speed and I didn't right? it. Okay, so basically that is what this tutorial was all about. It's supposed to show you the shortcuts that you can use when it comes to Inkscribe and how this software is the best thing that can make your life easier. Now when you're done with this, because you have the free version, you're not allowed to save on this software. So the best thing would be control copy everything and control paste it either on the website where your transcription was coming from that is either go transcript transcribe me transcription hub whatever software site you are working with or copy paste it on microsoft word now if you have any more questions feel free to type them out below on the comment section and we're going to help out if you have any other software that you would like for us to do a tutorial write down and we're going to look into it we're also going to put a link where you can get this free software for you to download and that you can use and start enjoying it so thank you for taking the time to watch this tutorial to the end yes thank you and bye bye